our friend Dick Schweiker and Claire. And uh, for the last year, he's been running what we call the People's Department, the ministry of program that brings the most direct aid to Americans who need government's help. And I know you all agree he's done an excellent job. Dick, speaking for all of us here and on behalf of the country that you've served so well and for a long time, I thank you. I think everyone else does. A large part of your fiscal responsibility and human compassion with great confidence and caring. And you once again infused our policies with values that made our country great. I'll miss you, not just for your record of accomplishments at HHS, which is long, but also you're a true and trusted friend. And we've been side by side for a number of years. Together, we waged some sometimes lonely and always challenging battles to bring common sense back to government and to return to the people of power over their own lives. And I relied on you for wise and honest counsel and counted on your support and you never let me down. I knew when you asked, uh, when I asked you to take on this tremendous job that you had been planning a return to private life. And I'm grateful that you put that aside, put aside your personal wishes long enough to make yet another contribution to public good as the Secretary of Health and Human Services. I look forward to working with your successor, Margaret Heckler, and know she'll continue the excellent work you've begun. Her ability and energy will be put to good use. But your colleagues and I will miss you, and I thank you again for friendship, for support, and uh, I know that'll remain unchanged. So good luck and God bless you. And if I had a glass in my hand right now, I'd drink a toast. <laughs> <laughs> Something better. Uh, there you are. <laughs> I really only gave the water back because somebody told me it was bad luck. <laughs> well, anyway, and I think all of us mean it. God uh, bless you both, and uh, we just wish you all the best out there. And I know the personal reason that you had a long time ago for entering government service. And I think you can go with a very clear conscience that you've. You've paid your bill. I want to say uh, how fortunate uh, both Claire and I and our family feel that we've been able to serve and work with you, not, not just for the two years, but for the six years beginning back in 1976. And I can't help but think with Paul standing right in front of us that uh, uh, back in 76, in terms of Washington, we were sort of a lonely trio back then. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and seatmates that we were. And now, of course, uh, the avant-garde has, uh, has taken over and has uh, really brought about a Reagan revolution uh, with your leadership. And it's, uh, it's wonderful to see how many friends you have and how big and how long the lines are uh, around you now. And that's a great sign of a leader and also your talent and ability. I think the second thing that uh, Claire and I want to say is that when we first met you uh, on an intimate basis back in 76 and got to know you, uh, two qualities stood out. Number one, your, your warm personality, your depth of character, and it uh, got through to Claire and me right off. And of course, Paul had told me about that for some time back, but we didn't need it authenticated because you proved it. And second, uh, I think there's been no more uh, good friend and strong supporter uh, through those periods of time and friendship than you and Nancy and Claire and I and family. And, Everybody here really appreciates it. And the people that I've asked today to invite, other than, than our close personal friends, are a lot of people who have uh, stuck with me uh, through my Senate career and cabinet career. 
And uh, we all just thank you for the great job you've done, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you. follow Dick and, and to follow the president, they're really two hard acts to try to even say anything after. But Mr. President, I think I'm the one that really was the hanger on here. I uh, have trouble giving up things. And I worked very hard on Dick not to leave the Senate. And something very good came out of that. So he had better judgment than I had then. And I'm counting on him to have better judgment than I have. <laughs> I want to thank you and Nancy so much for just being our friends and for all of you who have been our friends and our support. Um, to me, a true friend is really a glimpse of God, and I think you've all given us a lot of glimpses, haven't they, Dick? Thank you. Uh, thank you. field and over toward the side and I turned around and just in time went up and got it. But by this time, having been in the whole game, I was so tired that I just knew I didn't want to run. <laughs> the game was almost over. It was in the last minute of the game. But there I was with a clear field and a line one's dream for a touchdown all the way down there. But I thought if I juggle the ball a little bit, he'll tackle me. He's right behind me. <laughs> so I kind of, you know, did this and nothing happened. <laughs> I started to straighten up and just then he put his arms around me and said, Tag, you're it. <laughs> and, the, and the coach, even with only a minute or so to go, I saw my substitute coming out of the, <laughs> <laughs> I got to the sideline. The coach didn't have a sense of humor about that. And he was waiting for me and he says, what happened to you? And all I could say was, I'm tired. <laughs> so I never got my touchdown that I could uh, talk about. It's a better story, I think. <laughs> gets advised by the president about how to play. <laughs> you remember that play coming in. Well, listen, enjoy, everybody. Here. I know it's not an occasion to particularly enjoy. It's mixed emotions, as I say, for all of us. But uh, glad you were aboard here. Well, fortunately, we still be in the area, so whatever. We need private yes. sector support. Why, we'll be personified in the private sector support, so. All right. We, we can use that. All right. Don't just stand there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> 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 
Lim Nafsek. Dave. For heaven's sake. Hey. It's good to see you again. Good to see you. We stole her away from down here and she's done a great job for us at HHS. She really has. This is my personal secretary administrator system for 27 years now. She's in the agency. Worked with you all through it. And Dave knew all my chief president. I remember in 76. Where's Larry? Come here. Get in there. Okay. Okay. See you on the way. Dave, that's nice. Yeah. Larry? Come on, man. 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 Come on, man.